Hello guys, this is Lava Police, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a creeper farm on Minecraft Java Edition. So, keep in mind I'm on Bedrock Edition right now, so this farm won't work. This video is simply to walk you through the steps of making a creeper farm in 1.20 plus on Java Edition. I have another video to create a creeper farm on Bedrock Edition, so check that out if you're on Bedrock. But anyway, let's get started. What you'll want to do is you'll want to create a three block opening like this and then dig down two blocks like that. Then from these corners, place out two blocks diagonally like that. Here, build out one, two, three, four, five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then over here, one, two, three, four, five. What was that? Um, okay, five. And then do that for every quarter so it looks like this. Next, what you'll want to do is you'll want to connect these to, I don't know what you call them, but like lobes and then connect them like that. So it kind of looks like a time, uh, yeah, like a timer, a sand timer. And then you'll want to build this whole outline up by just one block. So it's two blocks high total. Next, what you'll want to do is you will want to place two blocks away from each other. You want to place a despawning block so spiders won't spawn. <clears throat> now, really, this can be any type of despawning block. I just chose carpet, but you're supposed to place them on both sides like this, and that will make spiders not spawn. Now, real quick, this side of the farm right here should be 16 blocks and this length of the um, outline should be 13 blocks. Next, what you'll want to do is you'll want to place trapdoors on this side like this. And then once you have this hole two blocks deep, you want to dig two blocks down like this. And then you can make, you want to do is you'll want to place a water bucket and then you'll want to dig a tunnel down here. And once you do that, the water should stop in right here. Then what you'll want to do is you'll want to dig down again, place two waters, and then you'll want to repeat this process again to make sure that the um, cave is one block longer than the um, water, so it should look something like this, just again. I'm gonna place some torches down here because it's getting kind of dark, but then what you want to do, dig two blocks down, oh cool, and then you can create a room of any size you want. I'm gonna make mine a pretty decent sized room. Then what you want to do is dig two blocks. Uh, from the water like this, and then place two che double chests like that, then place hoppers like this, and then place campfires right here. Now, if you do soul campfires and you have uh, access to those, soul campfires kill two times faster than regular campfires, so the kill chamber doesn't eventually get crowded up with a ton of creepers. Now, what you want to do is you'll want to place any block you like just to cover the campfires and so the creepers don't blow you up. But then I'm gonna light this place up like that. Now what you want to do is you'll just want to make a exit point and that would look something like this for me. Maybe like some ladders here or some stairs. I'm gonna do some stairs. So for that, I'm just gonna, yeah, you got the point. So what you want to do next is you want to transport some cats to your farm. Now this can be super annoying. So this might take a couple hours in survival mode. It would for me, but once you got these cats and tame them, this will make the process much easier. What you want to do is put them at the center of the wall on each side like this. And then what you want to do is you want to cover, you want to cover the entire thing with 
with these trap doors. Now, once you have that done, what you want to do next is um, if you want just this layer, like you don't want this uh, farm to be that efficient, and you just want one layer, then cover this entire um, outline with slabs, even the outline right here. But if you want a second layer, like me, then make sure these trap doors are gone. Then what you want to do is you'll want to make sure that there's an entire layer of solid blocks over these trap doors. Here we go. I used the least amount of cobblestone as possible, so it kind of looks like something like this. But next, what you want to do is you want to add another trap door part right here, and then you want to repeat the carpet pattern. Next, what you want to do is you want to get more cats. Now, this is probably the reason why you most don't want to uh, make this farm have a second layer, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Now, if you're in survival mode, you just need to make sure there's a staircase like this. And there we go. Now destroy that staircase and then add another level of trap doors. So I just made one more layer as you can see right here. But um, once you're done with all your layers and that's all the layers you want to make, personally, I would do more than one layer to make this far more efficient. But if you want to do just one layer, that's okay too. But next, what you want to do is you want to cover the roof with slabs partly to make sure that no mobs spawn and to make sure that there is no light in the farm. So next, what you want to do is you want to make a spawning platform 120 blocks up from the farm. So that means getting a stack of blocks and then 56 more blocks and then building up exactly 120 blocks. And then you can make a, uh, a spawning pla uh, AFK platform and then, if you want to get down here very quick, then you can even make a pool of water down here that you can just jump down from. And you can make it bigger if you're not that good at landing in water. Then make a spawning AFK platform as big as you want. And then you'll want to make a room around it to protect you from phantoms. And then you can put a door here. That's just optional. And then when you go up, when you AFK for about 15 minutes, then you can go through this door and then land in the pool like this and then go down here so here's the thing so your farm should be complete if you're on java edition i just modified it a little bit just now so it fits bedrock edition so i can actually use this farm but i'm gonna stay here for about 15 minutes and see the results so I AFK'd here for about 20 minutes, about an entire Minecraft day. So we'll see what we got. And let's see. We got two gunpowder. <laughs> it's because it's a Java edition farm. But if you're on Java edition, it should work. You should have got about two stacks of at least of gunpowder by now. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you liked this video. And if you're on Bedrock Edition, then I also have a video to create a caper farm on Bedrock Edition. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.